Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, back. Must go back. Okay, I'm going to talk about post-production in Blender. And um, I was I had started the video, but I forgot to hit the thing so that it would start. Um, I'm just going to touch on post-production. I don't have much time. Um, how I'm going to deal with it is I'm going to go in and... Let me see if I can open this. There we go. Um, find the folder that where stuff is saved. Save as. And it's going to. Well, it's not being saved. Um, let me save the. This is the file that I really want to edit. And I save as, and it's going to save into all space. Let's go to desktop and put it in, I think, 35. 35 is a good place to put it. Hit save. And then um, close that. Now let's bring it in from, uh, let's see what it is. It's right here. Uh, the, the name of the video is Americans are yet unimportant to the world and why um, I really believe that's to be the case make America great I think not it's not going to happen um, if people think America was great at one time um, they have to understand why America was great um, making America great is not going to come as a result of who we bring in as a president and um, if we have such a value to be less um, that the world's perception of the choices we make is ultimately going to affect how they perceive our ability to choose and that we per we've selected a sociopath as a president is ultimately how the people perceive us in the rest of the world that uh, we don't have the capacity to make good decisions. Um, and has effect and if America's made great um, as a result of such a, a selection um, how can that possibly be in the world it just can't be um, and if you judge the world by what your stock price is doing come to the realization that stock market really is just dope for corporations it is um, if you're making any money by it, you understand that corporations make decisions based on on the stock market and not by how they perform and if they behave according to the stock market. If the stock market is your ultimate value of the world, um, you're really just saying that money, you love money more than you love life and you are going to get exploited by the devil. Um, and you are. And... Um, people's perception and the, the world's perception of you, your religion, and everything that you stand for has already um, been assessed. And America, making America great is a fucking stupid uh, idea because um, we already decided America is fucked. Okay? And um, if we think America isn't great anymore, um, it's because of us that it isn't great. And it's because of the sort of decisions we make as a country um, about the private industry, um, how we value each other, it, and the space that we do not per per permit to other people, it's ultimately going to fuck us as a country. So, that aside, let's do some post-production. Um, and I am going to bring in a movie, and it is going to be this video that I just made. And that is the topic of the video. Um, and probably is going to be accepted more by people outside of America than by Americans. And I just don't give a shit. Okay? I'll just say that right up front. I just do not give a shit what Americans think of this. And I am an American. And I really do not value being an American as much as any other Americans who do 
especially conservatives. I think conservatives are going to hell. I think all the Christians here are all going to hell. And that is my perception. And it is a result of their choice decisions of how they value everybody else in the world. So, you can just expect it's going to come back on you. Okay. Hit add movie strip. And, okay, this is the video. And I have to determine where this is going to start. You can see it's a pretty dang long video. It's pushing the limits of Blender. Blender actually will go for hours on, uh, on how long these videos are. And what the strip is, it's a video and it's audio, and I forget which one it is. I think the green one is the video. Because <laughs> I always perceive it to be the audio, but it's not. Um, let me see what it says. If there's a tooltip that will show me what it is. Uh, it really doesn't say. Um, we could find this out if we um, go ahead and delete something. Erase strips. Okay, that was the audio. So we undo that. Um, blah, 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 how we edit. Oh, it's up here. Um, uh, where is the edit? A file. Um, where's undo? Help. Oh, let me go down here. And hit space. Type undo. Undo. Control Z. Control Z. I thought I did that several times. Okay, there it goes. So that. Um, so the idea is is that the blue is is the video, and the green uh, is the audio. And I go in here and I just try to listen to. Okay, in this animation. Okay, in this animation. I actually have to select um, the length of the video, how many frames. It says there's 400,260 frames. 402,160. We put that as the end. And then we can jump to this view here. Make sure it's on the right. Snap to grid here. I don't even, I'm not even using that. Be excited and they'll be given an assignment. And the first assignment's usually a bounce is doing a me these days. But if I guess if I started showing more interest in bl teaching people Blender, um, he would, the computer, I can, he can always turn out an animation in some form or another. The unique um, tools that, the proprietary tools that are in that organization. So for a professional animation, not to the point of this, okay, I'm and really, it's a matter of I'm really, this. they're just fooling themselves, okay. In some, in some degree, you're still going to be doing the same stuff that you would do in Blender. And so the the realization, what I've realized from whenever I've taken animation courses, um, that 90, well, it's something like 70 or 80% of the class will disappear. Yeah. Um, the first week okay, so. in number of frames, for any number of frames. And so parenting relationship, and then you would have this. 80% of the, of the semester you'll end up with and he'll be left with 20 serious modeling. You don't have to know how to draw to model out. And after a while, you will develop a tool set that you can just reuse. There's ways of dealing with the complexity and sometimes you will have to redo something over and over again to begin to see what an artist does with 3D graphics. They do it so and pivots and see some bug in the software and then and that's what the technical directors will call director type. Different the animation class that ended up being sit back and they stay in the unit of Blender. So um uh
somewhere uh, or I have a game blender user conference uh, backpack and you know I just don't really have I just don't keep records of stuff I only rely on my technical ability so to now it starts getting personal I was trying to encourage uh, the involvement of the of the users in the development of blender so um uh somewhere uh, or i have a game blender user conference uh, backpack and that somebody that has a computer science degree they expect them to have a that i originally had sit down and look at an animation and determine whether or not it looked real in the graphics or something I have a friend who um, works and then have the technical directors to do a managing of renders and just trying to be the in-between guy for all of the various sorts of artists that were working at the so, uh, trying to determine each, the place to cut this. Each company is going to have its own way of working. You, it, it won't always be the same um, thing. And so you have to be a jack of all trades to some extent. But you've got to be, you got to master one area of the thing. And it may be the case that once you go into being in that studio, you might find that your niche is not where you originally put placed yourself. I, I think primarily the way, reason why I didn't get in where he got in, um, and I didn't get in anyhow, um, was because I was positioning myself as an animator and I'm not an animator. I'm more a technical director type, and I n never tried to get in the industry as a technical director. I the thing doesn't even interest me anymore um, to do 3D graphics. So um, I guess if I try to get a job as a technical director, I could do it, um, but it I'm not. I don't have a math background, which I think technical directors would need. Um, I would probably, if I was to get anywhere in a organization as an animator, I would probably be, um, I would probably be somebody that would sit down and look at an animation and determine whether or not it looked realistic enough and then to being able to tweak different attributes of the animation to make it. Um, I would probably be in post-production if I was to really try it. But it would be a matter of somebody in that organization to determine if I had the technical skills to work in there. And I never did really apply to, I applied to Pixar. I didn't apply to enough places. And it, it's a matter of building a portfolio, which I never did, and um, applying to lots of places. Um, I just have a tendency not to be the kind of guy that is organized enough to um, work up a portfolio. And so I guess we'll stop it. I just pull, I'm move it up here. I'm going to find a, the guy that I originally had pushed to get guys that I had actually brought into the animation class that ended up being animators and being uh, 3D artists, their background was primarily in in art. Studio looks at somebody that has a computer science tool, the artist, their background was primarily in, in art. My background is primarily in computer science. And whenever a, a so I'm going to go to, I think about 757. We do this. Backgrounds primarily in computer science, and whenever a a um, studio looks at somebody that has a computer science degree, they expect them to have a math minor. And I'm such a odd shape um, that they don't think of me uh, with respect to my background. They don't. I, so I would have to prove that I was good enough to animate um, if I was to go into animation and if I was to go into technical direction I would have to prove myself that I was really good at doing math so I don't really fit in anywhere in there 
I would I think I'm better at um, so, inspiring people um, to do animation to and when I what happened originally was whenever I was working with Wavefront and so they sit back and they stay in the university and developing the skills to make it in the industry and that's the, that's what happens to teachers that's the reason why we got teachers they okay, so developing the skills to make it in the industry and that's the that in anywhere in there I would I think I'm better at um, inspiring people um, to do animation to do to work with graphics that it's a matter of their own developing the skills to make it in the industry and that's the, that's what happens to teachers that's the reason so why we got teachers one five nine zero something around right here um the yeah. animation to do to work with graphics that it's a matter of their own developing the skills to make it in the industry and that's the, that's what happens to that's the, that's what happens to team that's the, that's what happens to, so I go to to about three something here. what happens to that's the, that's what happens yeah. and that and that's a good spot to cut it so I select these clips then I um, do I think it's a cut operation it's um, I think it's K not yeah it's K and um, then you take this and you um, I think you can take the I think you can take the this you can take this and you can put it in another scene so we can duplicate the scene plus the scene copy every full copy and then in one scene I can have this clip and I can uh, Mark it. That's I can have, I can get rid of this clip, erase the strips. Then I should be able to go to the other scene and erase these strips. And so they're going to be two separate clip, uh, two separate. And so I'll name this scene according to that clip. What this is and this is, um me working working to fix animation oh whoops oh yeah I'm, I'm putting that in there fix animation that's one scene and the other scene is my perception of the world my perception of America now and that's the second scene and now I can also go in here and take I can either adjust and I probably will adjust the starting frame of this thing maybe I'll just move this back grab and move it to to zero then you have to go all the way down to the first frames move it in move down there then just zooming all the way down to these basic frames grabbing it and moving it to the side I think there's a way to snap it. I think you can, you can, yeah, I think this is, that's the snapping ability. Um, I'm not sure. And uh, then you just get, 
smaller and you get it back to zero and it will start at one okay that's the first frame you can do this in seconds but uh, I always do it in frames because you can get frame accuracy and um, there is um, it, you can extend the ends of these if you want to hold the frame of the lat um, when you cut there is a hard cut so I say cut cut strips um, then there is um, split I think there's a split strips um, let's just put strips in here and see what we get cut trim strips I think that's a soft trim is a soft and then cut is a strong um, and since I cut the strips they should be extensible on the ends the only way you can get in there is get down to the ends of the strip and see if you can extend the end I think you can probably do it on this one that's the video and what you're doing here is you're not you're extending the last frame so you're you can force it to extend that frame you can also group these I think the group is a control G control uh, yeah there's a meta strip and um, then you can split it even more um, so you can you can create a whole edit of a bunch of strips then you can select all the strips and all of the effects and you can turn it into a meta strip which is uh, and the only way to edit a meta strip is to use the edit button but uh, when it whenever it's a strip like that you can go ahead and re-edit it um, and um, do even more edits to it you can cut it down and you can put in uh, you know and so it's just infinite the possibilities that blender will allow you to edit these videos so um, and so there this strip is the strip my perception of for America and uh, I can go up here and change the name because it says faux America it's really for America and um, then it starts at 1 and it ends at frame 24 to 904 and we could see in what time that is if we go over here and say show seconds that um, last frame is going to be and we I think we do um, whoops uh, I think that's let me move that back um, I think you can uh, let's see nope 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 no nope. don't want to do that I need to move it back. Oh, I do control Z. Duh. Okay, I completely forgot. You still have uh, the ability to. But um, it'll do a snap to. And I can move the frame to. I can move the current frame to where it is on the timeline, I think. Um, forgot how to do that. Maybe it's up here and so where the timeline it's not there yeah okay and uh that's my mom <laughs> and uh let me see i don't know where to adjust the current frame in this old in this new version of blender um uh but let's get down to it has to be so it's like two hours and ten minutes the whole thing is and um, I stop it I don't do much there um, so I'll just leave it I'll go ahead and render it out so I set the last frame to 24 
24.2904. It's 30 frames per second is the rate. The post per, um, the performance. All this doesn't matter. Um, the we need the way it's going to save it out. We adjust it to FFmpeg video, just like that. And the encoding, we set a preset. We want H.264 MP4. And we need to turn on the audio. We need a MPEG. We can do an MPEG-2, which is more open source. So we can do an MPEG-2 um, audio track with an MP4 video track. And that should be enough. And we have to name the file. So we go to this. We find our we find our um, where we're storing stuff. Put it desktop. And we go to 35 folder. And we call this America America's perception. I'll just call it perception. And then hit return and say accept. And then it will name it a .mp4 file whenever it renders out. Then we have to switch and do the same thing for the other, which I really should have done ahead of time before um, editing the video. So me working to fix an animation, these two, then a control G to make it a meta strip. It ends at frame 15925. Um, no, that doesn't seem right. Oh, 159257 is where it ends. And then we go to that frame and adjust it one five nine two five seven. Then we adjust our storage medium. We could do this different. We don't have to do it in the same format. I could do this this time as XVID. And um, let's see, keyframe, and then you need to pick your audio compressor. And I might try um, AC3 just for the heck of it. And uh, then we go ahead and uh, save out the file. We want to do that first and foremost. Um, save it as a video sequence. Oops. We want to save it with the where it's being stored so that it uh, gets moved around in relation to that. And we click on that and say, uh, MAGA, don't make me sick. MAGA, don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. Hit blend, save blender. And, okay, then we can go ahead and render out our animation. We might want to do first determine the resolution of the output. Um, it is, um, I think it's 1024 by 768 is the output. We could even reduce it. Um, but we'd go 768 like that and uh, then adjust this. That's the percentage, the size of the original resolution and I'll set it to 1024 by 768, 30 frames per second. The audio track, um, it was probably, I think it is at frame accurate to 30 frames per second, but I don't know. Um, I could probably look at it closer, but um, the audio track should be the same size as the video. Um, I'm not gonna look at it, I'm just gonna that's what's going to determine the size of the video. If it isn't, you can select the video strip and you can use what's called a speed strip. And what the speed will do is it will adjust the frame rate 
of the video to fit whatever you want it to. And you can fit it right to the audio track and it will be correct. Um, regardless of whatever the frame rate of the video is. It will adjust it and it's pretty cool in that way. You can guarantee that you're going to have frame accuracy on your audio and everything. Um, because you can adjust the size of the video um, strip. And here's the 30 frames per second. You can choose odd frames per second. It's like you can choose what's originally NTSC format, which is 29.95. That's the frequency of frame rate for video um, for NTSC. And it's probably the reason why a lot of videos end up with out of sync with their audio because they are originally recorded at 29.95 and the audio track is as well. Then they change to a video format where the frame rate is 30 frames per second. It gets a little bit accelerated, but the audio track falls out of sync. And that's probably the reason why. So, um, Blender will make you frame accurate, which is uh, better than Adobe Premiere, which I doubt is frame accurate. Um, it's probably second accurate, probably not frame accurate. Um, um, and that's the advantage to Blender is it's really designed for animation, not for video. But because it is that way for video, it makes it more better um, for video editing. It's a compositor. It is a post-production compositor. And a compositor is a higher form of video editing. It is designed to permit um, special effects and it's it video editing takes a back seat and it's more it permits film editing it permits all sorts of different kinds of of video editing frame accurate and right down to and able to jump frames and all sorts of things like i can adjust the time and of the the mapping of the frame rate to the audio track here um, there's all sorts of options. You can add sample motion blur to it. Um, you can also adjust there if it's a, if it's a, one thing you can do with Blender is you can turn scenes into strips. And so you can actually edit together. You can do post-production on unrendered frames. So before you even render anything, you can do your post-production and then you can put that in with a thing and when you when you do the rendering of the post production sequence it will also do the rendering of the frames so blender really is well thought out and people just do not understand how well thought out it is it's just that sometimes they miss features and things get buggy but um, I'd say it's um, a good Swiss Army knife of all the things it can do with, um, and you can save out your um, your video and adjust your anti-aliasing, turn the anti off, and all sorts of stuff. Um, so it should really zoom through this, and I can adjust how fast it gets through. I'm probably just going to leave it on all day doing this. And so I'm going to go ahead and save it again. F2, well, F2. Another trick with Blender, if you hit F2 to save your blend file, just hit enter on the keypad. It's just going to remember everything. And the next time you load in the file, if you need to load in the file again, you just hit F1, hit enter. It, it's a no-brainer. You don't even have to mess around with the file system. So, um, let me see where I'm recording. Okay. So let's go ahead and render this out. And uh, let's see, display in, that's good, in the image editor. So it's going to throw it up here whenever it renders. We got 1024 by 768 30 frames per second. And we're selecting sequence compositors first. Um, let's make sure that when we're rendering that it's going to, oh, we don't need that. Um, when it renders, we're rendering the, um, 
oh that's animation that's okay that's it's going to it's going to value the composite over the render um, when those feet when you open up this area the post processing if you turn those off it will it will um, just render the what's in the scene so it's already set to do that and I hit F2 again to to back up everything then I can go ahead and uh, let uh, I'm probably going to work on the perception of America now and that I hold more value in that let's do set that to 1024 by 768 as well 768 adjust the percentage and um any a list and looks good looks good sequence yeah we need to render that and we need to adjust where this thing's saved and it's going to be american that is american perception the other one is so this is america perception except and then the other one is going to be me fix my animation so it, that's the one I didn't change so I go back to desktop and uh, we move it over here to 35 folder 35 and we'll call it fixing a hole where the rain came in and stopped my mind from wandering where it would go. Hit accept. And uh, then we move down here, make sure that, okay, it's set to MPEG 4 VX and AC3. And then I can go to this other, I'm going to go to the Make America Now thing and then hit F2 to save everything and then go ahead and render the movie and that's you hit animation to do that render only render one frame audio only render the audio so let's click that and it's off and running and this is the current frame that it's rendering at and it's doing it faster that it looks like it may be just doing it real time um so it's doing it second accurate so it'll take about two hours to fully render out the movie but once it's done there should be a file in there and I can go ahead and use that and then I can go in and switch scenes and go to the other scene and render out that one but there you go that's blender um, post-production very basic I'll do more complex ones later so hit stop